Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Hey everybody! My name is MRC Core, and today we're back with some more Pokemon Showdown. Uh, the beat you're hearing in the background, that is mine, um, because I purchased it. Um, so today we're back with some more uh, Showdown. So the last video that I did, uh, we had the Sash Bisharp team, Sash lead Bisharp with uh, Acid Armor and Metal. It actually did really well, um, so we got some more teams for you guys. So I, um... I have quite a few I want to show off. Like, I'm, I'm kind of excited to show off the Bulk Up Torn team, but I'm not... I don't know if it's going to do right in the meadow with, uh, with this Volcanion running around, but, um... It might, be, it might be okay, but that... It's going to tear up my team if I run into a Volcanion. And it's on, like, I think 7, 8% of teams now. Um, but yeah. You can check out my other channels. Links are going to be in the description below, where we do Mahjong and Chess. If you would like to go and check those out. Now... What should I do? Volcanion rose to OU recently. Now, if you don't know anything about Volcanion, it's strong. And when I say strong, I mean it's incredibly difficult to switch into. So I built this team. I don't know how people are running Volcanion yet. I imagine Heavy Duty Boots, Specs, uh, those would be the two main sets. Um, but I really like Volcanion because with water fire coverage, it it's so difficult to switch into. And then you have Sludge Bomb to hit Tapu Fini with, as well as get, you know, you know, just poison on stuff like Garchomp, or um, just things that, you know, pretty, or Dragonite, that's what I was trying to think of, Dragonite, things that could resist Steam Eruption and Flamethrower, and then you have Earth Power for stuff like Heatran, Opposing Volcanion, this is just a really powerful Pokemon. Like, it has a great move pull. I've seen this run on rain teams and on sun teams. It's it's just very fearsome. It's great. Uh, next up, we got Boots Weavile. You'll notice a lot of things on this team are Boots. Uh, that That's also um, the theory of if you run Boots, you don't need Defog, um, which is what you'll see in a minute. But we have Weavile. Now, I'm running four attacks on Weavile because I really like this as... um, It's not a great breaker without a boosting item. But that being said, it's such a good anti-meta threat because of Ice Dark coverage and also Knock Off doing what it does. Low Kick is able to hit Mel Metal and Tyranitar, but you have to have Chip on stuff like Mel Metal and Heatran first before you can Low Kick them. It also does pretty good damage to Ferrothorn, um, which is a problem for this team because, yeah, I have the Volcanion. Not many people just leave Ferrothorn in front of Volcanion. Just gonna be honest with you. Uh, next up, we got Specs Coco. Now, this is probably when I've tested this team, I've had the most problems with the Specs Coco, and it's because of Heatran. It's not Heatran itself; it is because Lando plus Heatran. It really turns it into a 50/50 of what move you need to click, and that therein lies the problem. There is because Heatran quad resist fairy, meaning it does zero damage and. Landorus is immune to Volt Switch and Thunderbolt, so it kind of makes it, eh. Like, I wish I could do something better, but for speed control and typing, it really just fits this team very well. If I was going to change Coco, I'm not sure what it would be. I would think maybe Zapdos or um, possibly even Thunderous, but probably something like Zapdos or... I don't know. I'll have to like try and test it out some more, see if I can fit something better, but Coco seemed to work the best in testing, even though it gave me problems with certain cores. Uh, Landorus, it's tried and true Landorus. This is actually my favorite set to run right now um, with the HP investment. This actually allows it to eat plus two acrobatics from Halucha. Um, it does a lot of things. This is a really, really, really strong Pokemon. Um, it has a lot of spadef investment. It's able to check stuff like Volcarona. It only gets one Earthquake off if Volcarona is Quiver Dance up. Just keep that in mind. But still, very, very powerful Pokemon. Still eats Specs uh, Psychic from Lele. It can eat Specs Hydro Pump from Dragapult. It's just a very good Pokemon. Uh, and also, yeah, we have Toxic on this one because Toxic is there for other Landorus and does things that like to switch into Landorus that aren't Steel types. And not Toxapex, because I've seen people switch hard into Pex on Landorus, and I've never understood why. Well, I do. It's Helmet Chip on U-turns, but some people stay in with the Toxapex, and it's like, okay, so you fish for Burn to win. Uh, next up, we have Dragon Dance Clear Body Dragapult. Now, I know this team is more standard, whatever. I don't... whatever. Um, but yeah, we have uh, this Dragapult set. 
which is Flamethrower Dragon Darts Phantom Force. Flamethrower allows it to beat Kartana and pick off Chipped Ferrothorn, uh, which is very useful. Phantom Force is obviously just a strong stab move, and Dragon Darts is the most broken move on the planet if it weren't for Fairy types. Uh, with Dragon Dance, this thing gets incredibly fast. Almost nothing can outspeed it. It's just a very threatening Pokemon. With Clear Body, it actually is very nice because it prevents the Landorus from lowering its attack stats. So, you, so if you get to plus one and Landorus is in range, you can pick it off with a Dragon Dart. So very, very useful Pokemon. And this is actually coming very clutch for this team as a sweeper. Next up, we have Corviknight. Now, this Corviknight has not done a lot for me. I swear it hasn't. Uh, but it's Body Press, Brave Bird, Bulk Up with Roost, and it's just the standard spread that you run on it. Um, it's actually semi-standard because I think standard actually runs, um, is it? Maybe this is standard. I don't remember. It's standard Corviknight, but it has bulk up and it's still helmet. Um, uh, alternatively, over pressure, you can run mirror armor so that you don't have to worry about things like shadow ball, spit F drop, but that's only situationally useful, whereas pressure is more overall useful. Anyway. Let's go ahead and jump into some games here. I'm probably going to play like three or four. My voice is getting tired because I just recorded the last video as I am recording this. All right, so let's see. My opponent has a scissor. That's interesting. Um, They have two ground types, which means Coco. Actually, Coco's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Um... I really like the idea of leading with... I want to lead with Corviknight, but there's a Magnezone. I'm going to lead with Weavile, because Weavile can check the Kamoa, it checks the Landorus, it can also just get knockoffs, and I don't see it as very useful in this game. Yeah, I'm going to knock off Mamoswine immediately, as it is Scarf Stone Edge, because that's what people are running these days. Yep. Scarf Stone Edge Mamoswine, the thing that everyone has always been using since the dawn of fecking time. Cool. I'm going to go to my Tapu Koko now, and I'm going to click this Volt Switch as you go into uh, Scizor, probably. I know you're Scarf. I'm not... Okay, you actually did that. Great. I ran into one of these players. Cool. And they have Stone Edge on Landers. I've never seen this before in my life. Never before in my life. I'm going to go hard Lando on zone because I knew that was coming. Uh, we are just going to put up Stealth Rocks. And I'm going to Toxic this Landorus because that's going to go a long way. That is... Is that Banded? My god. Yep, we're going to do that on the Feeny. We're going to go into our Coco. And I'm going to just Dazzling Gleam because you just think that I'm going to go for the Electric move apparently. Why, I don't know why you went hard Landorus there. And you stay in to Moonblast me. Is that Assault Vest? I'm going to go hard Volcanion, actually. And we're just going to simply Sludge Bomb. I don't think they should stay in. But there's no reason to go to their Steel types. Alright, and that's shown that it is that. What I want to do is I want to... I want to steamer up, try to get a burn. I am faster. And it does show that it's toxic. I was worried about it being boosting. That's why I want to do fish for a burn there. Um, it also did a pretty good amount of damage. So I'm going to steamer eruption again. And I do get the burn. That's very important. Most of my team is boots, so I'm not really that worried. Um... I actually want to go Corvi and I want to Roost up. Oh no, I can't Roost up. I'm going to go hard into the Landorus again on the Magnezone switch. Because I know that's what they want so badly. Um, we're going to Earthquake this time. I should be faster. Yeah, that's completely fine. Um, we're just going to U-turn. My god, that crit! That has to be banded. That has to be banded. That's doing so much damage. Now, we're actually getting to a point where I can potentially sweep with the Dragapult. Um, that is a thing that I'm going to try to do. I actually kind of want Kamo to stay alive. 
All right, so we're gonna go Coco. And I'm going to Dazzling Gleam again. This is fine, that doesn't do anything for my opponent. That actually does a lot to Scizor. And that shows that it's Life Orb, which is completely fine. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to Sack Corvin. I'm gonna Body Press into the Magma Zone. Or we get rid of Scizor, I'm fine with that too. Zone comes in, it can kill me. It's probably gonna Volt Switch, but Flash Cannons, it doesn't matter. Um, if it specs, I get to go this and just click a very nasty flamethrower. And now we sludge bomb this. Do I sack Lando here? Yeah, we sludge bomb. I don't mind if you go to Kamoa. Because I'm actually going to sack Lando here on your protect. We go to Dragapult. And I want to Dragon Dance, because I feel like they might protect. Yeah. We're Dragon Dancing, and I believe I Dragon Darts here. Yeah, Landorus is gone, which is great news for me. We Phantom Force. Yep, and that shows that it specs, and that's GG. Well, that was fun. I'm on Earth Power. Yeah. That is one of those guys. Well, what you gonna do? Sometimes you just run into the Mammo Swines that are Scarfed and have Stone Edge, and they land at turn one and get a kill. Because that's exactly what Mammo Swines are supposed to do, you know? I mean, I've... I've seen that set countless numbers of times. It's just it's the most common set I've ever seen on Mammal Swine in my entire life. This is actually a really good game for my Corviknight if I can get rid of the Blaziken. It also depends on that Dragapult, but this could be a good game for the Corvi. Uh, late game, sometimes Corvi is really, 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 really nice to have. Uh, I actually want to lead with my Landorus here because they want to lead with the Blaziken. And we're just going to Earthquake turn one. Yep, get rid of Blaziken. That's great for Corviknight. Uh, the Dragapult wants to come in. And uh, I'm honestly going to... What do I do here? I'm going to go Hard Volcanion as a spec Shadow Ball. Which is fine. I could go Weavile. Do I need HP on Weavile? I'm better off sacking this. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do about that. But we can go to this, and Dazzling Gleam is pretty strong. If they stay in just to get the spec Shadow Ball off, that's great for me, but they probably won't. They actually choose to give me a good chunk of their Lando. Yeah, I'm going to stay in and do that. And the reason that I did that is because that allowed me to get rid of Lando if they wanted to get rocks up. Otherwise, I was fine with chipping it down. Um, I'm not sure why this came out. I want to keep my Coco healthy, though, for their Dragapult, because I need that. Um, and this is fine. We just roost up. They go to their Dragapult, which means they have Fire Blast. But they have to click it. Yeah, I'm fine with this, because I get big, big damage on you. Now I go to my Dragapult, and we Dragon Dance up, because they're, they're locked into that. That's 100% Specs. All right, so this comes in, we go Weavile. I should have Dragon Darts there, but I thought, oh, they're this set. Okay, I was really worried that it was going to be Ice Move, because they brought it in so fast. It is Ice Move, but it's not what I thought it was. Uh, we're gonna Low Kick here. I don't mind if they go into Pulp, because I can Ice Shard it and kill it. They might not think that I have, if they see low kick, they might not actually um, think I have Ice Shard. Again, Coco is in a really good spot right now. The only problem is that Cortana is very threatening.
but I don't think it can, um, oh, this is absolutely amazing. I get to knock off here. I get rid of Lapras. If they want to go Corvi, I get rid of an item. If they want to go Cartana, I get rid of its item. And if it's Scarf, that actually means that I win the game. Ah, they add Protect. Is it Parasol? I don't want to go into Landorus to take the rocks. But I can go into Coco and I can very safely Volt Switch. Yeah, and this allows me to go to Pult. And this could just be, it's Pult versus Pult. And that's, that's the end game right there. Now instead they actually want to go into Cartana, which I'm going to go hard in Lando. Because they're going to knock off here. They have to. If they leave played, good good prediction. They can also double to uh, Dragapult or Corvi. But I'm pretty much forced to switch there. Alright. And this is where... I Earthquake. Because I want Chip on this. Yeah, and that puts you in range of Coco's Thunderbolt. And they just gave me the Corviknight. Oh, this is close. This is very, very close. I don't think a Spec Shadow Ball kills me, but I don't know if Spec's Thunderbolt kills them. It does, in fact, kill me. Um... Well, after Dragon Darts, that's GG. I lost. Because it's Scarf Cart. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That was a good game, though. Very close. How long have we been recording? Almost. All right, all right, all right. All right, we've run into another rain team. I think I've actually battled this guy before. I don't remember. It's hard to get out of low ladder sometimes, man. It really is. Um... Weavo is pretty decent this matchup. Dragapult is a win con. Well, actually, I don't know because I have Amanda Buzz. Uh, Corviknight's actually a win con if I can get rid of the Kingdra and Coco. Uh, Volcanion is extremely good here. Um, what I want to do, I don't see a ground type, so I'm going to leave with Coco. And very simply just Volt Switch on that. And we're going to go into Weavile. And I want to knock off your item. Yeah, get rid of your Chopleberry. We go into Volcanion. I'm going to Steam Eruption onto the Mandibuzz, I guess. I thought it would go Pelipper. This is fine. I'll Steam Eruption again. Yep, there's the burn. So now I just Flamethrower. Yeah, I'm not really sure how much that's helping you, because I just do Steam Eruption here, now Mandibuzz is gone, and that opens up Dragapult quite a bit. Uh, Pelipper comes in. If it's faster, it might be Specs, but it is not, and we get the Poison on it, which goes a long way, because that means that it's forced to roost more often. Coco comes out, and we have to go hard into Lando. Good swap. Uh, what I want to do here is I actually want to sack Corby. Because I don't really see it doing a lot right now. But they decided to Draco. They decided to Draco there. So I'm going to body press. Ooh. We're going to go hard Volcanion so it can't flip turn. But they decided to, that close combat was the play. I'm going to go hard into Dragapult now. And then go Volcanion as a Dazzling Gleam. I felt that they would. Uh, Pharaoh's at 49. If this wasn't in, I could set up a Dragapult, but I would need plus two to sweep. Oh, yeah, it's probably Crunch. All right, we'll go to this. And I want Rocks up. 
I think that was a misplay. You should have gone to Pelipper. Whatever. I'm going to Earthquake this. And we are going to remove this from the game. Which, again, opens up my Dragapult. Yep. So we're going to do that. Good play. Good play. They sh Yeah. I was hoping they would Roost, but they did not. So good play on my opponent's part. I'm gonna bolt switch here, get rid of Pelipper. And we are going to go into Corby. We'll see if it's Boots Coco. I doubt that it is. Uh, do I set Coco here? I think I do. Yep, yeah, as a Surf. Which I'm gonna go Dragapult here. And uh, very calmly, just dragon darts. Because, yeah, that shouldn't kill me. We get rid of Kingdra, which is big. Uh, Barrascuta comes out. This is fine. We go Lando. They liquidate. But I wanted to get... I really hope... I don't think Corviknight lives this at all. Oh, I didn't get rid of their Damp Rock, so I 100% lose here. Yeah. Yeah, that's GG. I just misplayed that, I think. I don't know where I misplayed, but I know I misplayed that. That's fine. That happens. It's rain. As you can see, this team is not doing very well. <laughs> uh, let's see. This team is food for Volcanion, so I want to keep that healthy as much as possible. I actually think that I want to lead with Coco. Because Rotom comes in. And I'm going to Volt Switch. Because you can go Landorus. I'm going to go into Corviknight so you can't Toxic. And you get Helmet Chip from U-Turn. And they're Balloon Heatran. Because why wouldn't you be Balloon Heatran? Okay. That's a problem. I'm going to Body Press. As it's Eruption Balloon Heatran. Because why wouldn't you be? Great. I'm going to go to Weavile now, and I'm just going to low kick this. Yeah, as you put rocks up, now I knock off. We get rid of Helmet on Tangrowth. We triple Axle here. Triple Axle should get a kill. I'm going to triple Axle again. I know that wasn't Flame Body. Like, they are not Flame Body in this metagame. Uh, Weavile's actually really, really good for me. So I want to go hard into Volcanion. Earthquake was a good play. It's a good prediction. I could have gone Lando as well, though. So I'm, I feel like Double Iron Bash was still better for them. But this is completely fine. There's no Steam Erupts and Switch In while they decide that Mel Metal is the Switch In. Now I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. As this is a salt dust mail metal. I'm going to toxic into that Landorus because that's going to be important for me. And uh, yeah, that's very important for me when I miss my moves. It's very important for me to miss my moves when I make a good play. Alright, I'm going to earthquake into the Weavile. That's great for me. Great for me. I need this alive. Pult. Does Pult win? It can potentially. If they low kick, good play. No, nope, Triple Axle is just that strong. Oh no, they crit. They crit the second one. That, that matters. Okay. Well, this is fine. I'm going to darts. Flamethrower should be able to knock this out. Very close. Oh, I'm going to darts again. They're going to phantom force because I believe that the 12th Oh no, they have leftovers. Well, I've lost. No. Yeah, and then I shard wins the game. That's GG. 
My opponent, my opponent just predicted me in every single turn, so you know, that can happen. I guess we'll get one more battle. Why not? This is why I don't like Pokemon. <laughs> this, these are the games of why I don't like Pokemon. This team did really well when I, when I, I swear this team did so well when I was uh, practicing with it, but it just does not seem to be doing well on the ladder today. Uh, I'm going to just lead with the Landorus. And I'm simply going to U-turn out. Yeah, we live that. We get a lot of chip on you, which is important. We go into this, and I'm going to Grass Knot into the Swampert. Because I'm a genius. Yeah, we get rid of Swampert, which means now we can Volt Switch as freely as we want to. I'm very surprised that they just raw wood hammered with the Rillaboom, considering I have a Corviknight. But, I mean, it's his low ladder for you. It just kind of, things happen here. You can take the Landorus. You didn't take the Landorus. Alright, we go hard Corvi, because I don't want to give this a boost early. And that knockoff goes a long way. Um, I imagine you're going to want to go Zapdos. And I'm going to go hard into Coco here as a hurricane and land it. I actually think I'll just Thunderbolt here. Yeah. Yeah. That's massive damage on that Zapdos. Yeah, Rillabeezy comes out. Uh, I'm actually going to go Corvi. Yeah, this is a Grassy Glide. I'm pretty sure they're banded. I'm going to Body Press. Okay. Take the Landorus, please. Like, please take the Landorus. Alright, they V-Create, which allows Weavile to come out now. Which can very safely knock off here. Get rid of Zapdos. Thankfully, we do not get paralyzed. Rillaboom comes out. We Ice Shard kill that. We still got a Corvi for Cartana. I'm actually going to make a ballsy play and go Dragapult on the Sacred Sword, yeah. <laughs> and this is the part where we Flamethrower. They actually go Bisharp, which is cool. Um, I want to keep Dragapult, so I'm going to go into Coco. That was a strange play to beat up. Alright, well my opponent forfeited. Alright, let's see if we can get one more game in. The team is not actually that exciting now that I'm playing with it again. It was more exciting when I was playing with it the first time because Volcanion just does what it does. I think the team would honestly be better without Coco because, at, like I said when I was like introducing the team to you guys, the Coco just, it becomes so prediction heavy. And then you can see a game like this, there's no ground type. Coco's, I, I lead Coco and I Volt Switch. Ah. I see. And this is where I really, really, really would like to have uh, something for this, but I do not. Now, fortunately, I have a Dragapult. And I'm going to Dragon Dance, because I don't think that this is Dazzling Gleam. Oh, there we are. There's the Taunt. Alright, I'm going to Phantom Force as they try to U-turn. Phantom Force might knock them out. Now, normally Dragapult is Infiltrator. Normally Dragapult is Infiltrator. Okay, this comes out. That's a problem. Is It is going to Swords Dance on me. I'm going to go Corvi. And I'm going to bulk up. And we're going to body press here. If it's weakness policy, I think he sweeps. Yeah, we do get rid of Bisharp, which is amazing for us. The Coco is very low. Um, if Coco comes out, I'm going to body press it. Because I'd rather there not be any light screens up. That way Volcanion might have a chance to do something. I gotta be very careful about that Mew because I know what set this is on a screens team like this. As it actually comes out right now.
Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Lando and I'm going to Toxic this. I don't care if I get Toxic myself. But I have to Toxic this. If he goes Hatterini, good job, good play. Yeah, good play, good play. Uh, we're just gonna U-turn out. That Hatterene is actually a problem. I'm gonna Brave Bird it, because I'll do quite a bit of damage. Not quite a bit, I guess none. All right, well this is fine. We're gonna Phantom Force. And Phantom Force should knock this out. Yep. I'm gonna flamethrower the Coco so that it cannot get its things up. That's important. <laughs> All right, Corvi comes out. Uh, this is not going to be able to beat me, I don't think, unless it's agility. I'm actually going to go hard, Coco, because it is agility. And since we are specs, we're just going to Thunderbolt here. Get rid of Corvi. Great news for me. Halucha comes out. It gets zapped. And, yeah, and my opponent forfeits. So we've beaten one of the uh, cursed uh, screen teams. I'm sure that if you've played Pokemon Showdown, you've been in this tier, you have probably seen a team very similar to this one where it's just screens. Here's Cosmic Power Mew with that BS. Here's, you know, court, you know, whatever. It's just six things that set up and they like half of them have weakness policy and it's just, it's annoying. It's annoying, but this team has actually outdone itself here. Anyway, that's all the time we got for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. And check out my other content on my other channels linked in the description below. We'll see all of you in the next video that we do. Take care, everybody. I really like this beat. It's cool.